Well, you heard it from Malcolm Martin. We move down to featherweight in the men's division. This for MMA and one of the most exciting matchups, without a doubt, on tonight's undercard pitting out of the red corner. In this case, from Gaijin MMA, Noah Mannion, and a guy who's known to really push the pace. Is great on the ground game. He's a guy who loves to punch his way inside. And knowing his opponent, who's also very tough and rangy, I think we're going to see another all-action fight from a guy who's going to only go one way, and that is forward game. Noah known for his aggressive style. He sets up his, his shots with his punches really, really well to look for that coming forward in this fight. And Noah coming in through against a really good guy in Dalias Tumilovic. So two very credible gems. And Noah Mannion going to come and try to make a statement, Dean. That's got to be a significant mental factor. Now you're going against a great opponent. You're on a world stage on MMATV.com. Shout out to MA Action also in the building tonight filming things. People are watching, and that's got to be a factor. Definitely got to make sure your nerves on top of your physical shape is paramount coming onto this fifth stage of the LFC. He does look confident. Well, Mannion in the ring. Let's go back to Malcolm Martin and we'll bring out his opponent from the NWA. And would you welcome his opponent into the blue corner? Darius Kamalovic! Oh man, oh man. And the man from the blue corner emerges from the fighters' tunnel. It's Darius Trumilovic. Shout out to Christian Navaldi, one of the head coaches over there, Colin Nwadiki. Colin Cosmo, a man you know very well, Dean. Yeah. And it's got to be good to have coaches like that in your corner tonight, especially against a very tough opponent, Noah Mannion. Amazing academy coming back from here. I remember back in the day, actually competing against Colin. Lost a close decision to that guy, brilliant. And then later on went and trained. They're such friendly guys, but they're technically brilliant. Well, Tumilovic gonna push the pace, gonna maybe have a reach advantage as well. I know this guy's got a good evolving ground game, so it could become very interesting if it stays on the feet, two guys who know the way around the mat. How long will they stand toe to toe? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go back to Malcolm Martin and we'll make it all official. And your fighters in the cage. In the red corner, he is 18 years of age with a record of three losses. He represents Cajun MMA, Noah Mannion. And his opponent in the blue corner. He is 25 years of age. He has a record of one loss. He is from Poland and representing New Wave Academy. Darius Tomalovic! Your referee, Mr. Dan Mabahaven. The gentleman, Daniel Mobahidi, brings these two athletes together for the face-off. Would you look at the face of Tumilovic and the response from Mannion team? They didn't take their eyes off each other. Darius staring down there. Now you see a cauliflower here. Maybe he's been working on his wrestling, we'll see. I know they've been working hardcore with Daniel Crawford. Raheem Matarasi also a key influence. But Mannion showing the kick, but throws the hands. Big right hand from Mannion. Charging in from Tumilovic, getting that body lock. Does he have double unders? Tumilovic there going to the back nicely. See if he... Oh, nice Noah there. Very slippery early in this round. Oi, slipping and miss there. Various. Tumilovic charges in, drops down, looks for the double, clasps those hands together. Now swap into the single, and he goes for a ride. You gotta be careful of that head. Possibly looking for mission control there. Mannion has to give up. Open guard, one butterfly hook in, the right leg now emerges for a high guard, closing up for Noah Mannion. Using that open hook there, let it go. Could be 
quite advantageous in these earlier rounds because not a lot of sweat, not a lot of blood. Oh, he's got his, the arm trap there. That's an unfit comparison. Oh, he got his arm back out. That's a precarious position right there. No, he's arm trapped. He's going for the triangle for the bottom there. Darius shakes it off, looking for the mount up against the cage. And both fighters trying to work some magic. We knew they're both masters of the mat. Look at the way that Mannion scrambles around trying to recatch a guard here. Trumilovic staying very top heavy, controlling the hips, going to work to use that cross face position. You'll see his right shoulder, and that's painful, Dean. Really useful to get to the mount with that type of pressure. So I was talking about that's Academy, they've been technically brilliant. They cross all the T's, dot all the I's as he takes the back there. Now we're desperately trying to get out of this position. He really senses he's in danger. Darius on top. Riding the pony there brilliantly, not getting bucked off. Punches down, heavy shots from and the he, mount position. And he's doing that when Noah's head is on the mat, which leaves there no room to move away. Those are hurtful shots from Darius Tumilovic. I wonder how much Noah can take more this. The referee is looking on intently. Noah desperately trying everything he can, trying to kick off the cage here. I'd like to see him try and use an escape. Buck the donkey off there, if he bucks his hip off there, and try and buck Darius off, just to, even just to push him off his balance there, so he can't post and put those big shots down. And he looks to try to give up Mount, but Tumilovic forces him back into the turtle. Tumilovic great binding in with those legs, staying very top heavy, the way he skydives there, Dean, trying to preserve position, stretches him out, fishes for the neck, maybe going to the arm triangle, doesn't see it. Darius did a really good job of hip control. He sticks his hips in the mount position there to his opponent. And even on the back, you watch, you see that? He screwed his hips back down towards the back of Noah. So he doesn't get bucked off. He's got a lot of balance there to rain down shots, Chris. Tumilovic flanks him backwards, looks to secure the seat belt. Mannion survival mode here, but five seconds on the clock, Dean. Is it enough time to cinch up this choke? Noah did a good job of restraining the arm there. Makes it out of that round. Wow. Darius showing his ground skills there. Excellent work. You see the corner of Darius there saying, look at him. He's tired. Look at him. Brilliant coaching there in the corner from New Wave Academy. And a grin on Christian Navaldi as he walks away. A nod from Noah Mannion. He knows what he's got to do here. Tomilovic also, no doubt, going to pressure him again and try to get that thing to the floor and on top. Again, body lock for Tomilovic. Pushed away from Noah, by Noah Mannion. Mannion there firing those kicks out. He released some decisive damage. Stay away from this clinch. Dictate the pace there. Move off. It's a pummel for the underhooks. He can't hold on to, to Darius like this. No, ah. thought about going for the neck there, but Tumilovic able to suck his hips away from the cage and get him down to the canvas. Now looking to his corner for advice. Working that over again. Perhaps looking for the triangle here. Again, it's going to be difficult against somebody as Darius has experienced. Oh, I love the way he stacked him up there and just passed him over to get the back control. Beautiful. That's great wrestling for MMA. Maintaining positional control. Disallowing the opponent's ability to respond and counter. Stuffs the head, lands the shots, looks to creep around for the short choke. Forces Noah Mannion to his back. Open butterfly guard for Mannion. Like to see Noah stuff the head and try and stand up. He can't sit underneath Darius too much. Let him pass it, just let him pass out. Unfortunately, take to the mount again. Darius, quick fire with his jiu jitsu. And Darius. Now, right where he was, a mirror image of round two. Controlling, posturing, and most importantly, striking Dean. Now he's calling a friend to shout and saying, get out the back door, get out the back door. And he would have to sneak a couple of arms underneath the legs. Is that right, Dean? He's got a buck. He's got to put Darius off that center. See how Darius stays able to push on the face. If no bucked his hips up in one thing, Darius is, there we go, just like that. See, Darius, it forces Darius to reset. And there's where you need to escape. Give you time to move your hips, hip control there. And perhaps sneak out the back, but Darius on top is so dominant here, Chris. Darius had a slight size advantage given the weigh-in statistics yesterday. Mannion came in just under the limit. Darius had a great cut, I know. 
pounding down, forcing Mannion to turn away. Significant strikes landing for Tumilovic here. No, I can't turn away like this. He's just going to keep punishing me. He needs to tie up one of those arms. He's to buck. Get the back door there. He scoops his hips away. Ah, Darius just too powerful on top. And Darius actually reached for the arm, thought about going for a submission, but actually slid a bit lower in Mount Dean. That was a great way to threaten with an attack, but also maintain the current positional control. Takes Noah's mind off the position and maybe the submission, but then goes straight back to the position. Quick fire jiu-jitsu, as we said here from Darius. Awesome top control. And it's applied for MMA because he's mixed in the strikes. It's not just been a one-trick pony tonight. Showing off the evolution of his training, and that's, that's it. Over. That's it. That's a good stoppage. Must have been at least 30 unanswered blows. Man, and as tough as they come. But Tumilovic proved to be a little bit too much tonight, Dean. Darius' downward pressure was too much for Noe. He couldn't get that space from the mountain to escape. To get out the back door. The buck just didn't prove fruitful for him tonight. And Darius ultimately pounded him out for the win. Two minutes 53 of round two. The blue corner. Down.